<laughs> What's going on boys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over the only defense needed in Madden 23. This is a three part series. If you didn't watch video one and two, make sure you go do that right now. And I appreciate all the real MVPs on the channel that's been hitting that red subscribe button. Make sure that you have your notifications on. I will start putting gift cards into the videos in the next couple days to show my love and appreciation back to all the supporters. Enough talking. Let's get into today's ba -ba 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 banger. Now we are back on the defensive side of the ball. Kansas City Chiefs defense is the playbook that I'm running. And nickel over is a defense that you can run 90% of the game. Now, sometimes you will have to go into dollar. And I have a few blitzes out of this, a few blitzes out of the big nickel, and a few blitzes out of dime normal. So make sure you get the ebook. It's going to be a lot of updates in the ebook and my full offensive scheme but enough yapping let's get into what y'all want okay so when you are running nickel over it's a couple key things that you need to know with different opponents you always have to do your coach adjustments early in the game i do auto base align on option defense is up to you depending on what type of player you are playing okay you can have it on aggressive, leave the QB open, and then you can take the QB by yourself or you can have it on conservative where the computer focuses on the QB and they leave the dive and the pitch open, okay? Now, the number one key, no matter what defensive shell you are calling, you got to have it on zone coverage match. Do not mess with the hooks, the curl flats, or the regular flats unless you are coming out of a match type of defense. So if you are going to play cover two, you can leave this on match and then you can adjust these. You can put these on 30, put these on 10, put these on five, anything you want to. But if you are running cover four quarters, cover three buzz, anything with the purple zones, you want to make sure that these are on default. That's the only way that your match principles is going to work. OK, so put it on match. Do not be shading down, shading up. That will mess up your match principles on a lot of the cornerbacks and the safeties. Now that we got that taken care of, number two, you need to make sure that you do your substitutions early. You need to give yourself an advantage. So if I go right here, on this side right here, I wanna have my best pass rusher. So on this defense, we have Bosa over here. I'm gonna instantly put Bosa on that side. I want my best pass rusher right there, okay? These people don't really matter because you can drop them into zones every once in a while. But right here is your best pass rush. Now, right here in the box, I like to have at least one safety. If they are running the ball over and over and over and over, linebackers is going to be better with awareness at being able to stop the run plays compared to safeties. OK, so make sure that you have at least one safety and one linebacker or two safeties in these positions right here. All I care about is speed and play rec, okay? These positions, I care about speed and play rec. Now, my audibles, I'm going to always have Overstorm Brave. I'm going to always have my cover three buzz. And then my base play is going to be cover four. So that's what I'm going to always come out in because of how many people are in the run fits. Okay, so if we come out and set our defense up, we're going to pinch our linebackers. We're going to bring these safeties down a couple steps. Pay attention to your opponent's tendencies, okay? That is very important. So if they are coming out in the offense and they are motioning people across the formation, you need to be aware of that. OK, so if you are in a match principle, let's say that you are in a match principle cover four match. OK, now they are putting three receivers on that side and two receivers on the left side. So 
He's going to be responsible for him if he goes deep. And now you are in a situation where you might have to move this guy out so then they can play better defense. So you're going to have to move people around. You can't expect for the game to do everything for you. Okay, so with this type of situation, you can go ahead and say that he is manned up on him. He is manned up on him. So you will want to use her, this guy. Okay, what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for what does the tight end do? Is the tight end going to go vertical? Is the tight end going to come out and do a corner route? Okay, so when they are motioning, this is how your defense is actually supposed to work. He will be manned up on the running back. He will be manned up on number 14 digs on the backside. You will want to be responsible for this guy. Okay, you want to watch anything from the right side coming back to the left side. So if we just hike the ball, boom, look at how the play is set up. That's exactly how your match is supposed to work. So you need to pay attention to what your opponent is doing, and then you can make adjustments to that. Okay, so as you can see, he's going to take who goes short. Okay, so the purple zone is going to take who goes short on this play and then he doesn't go 10 yards. So he's going to drop off into a zone. Okay, so they did slant on this play. So I'm going to stay right here. Not overly aggressive. They did slant. So we have the backside all manned up. He's going to take him. He's going to take him. So this route and this route would have got open. Okay, because they didn't go 10 yards. You need to know exactly how the match principles work. I have a full match seminar in the ebook. Make sure that you go check that out right there. He go, he doesn't go 10 yards. So them guys drop off into zones. So I'm right here to pick up anything from the right side to the left side. Okay, plus we already have our super glitchy pass rush. So if we come right here, pinch them, bring them down. Make sure that you are watching who is motioning and who is not. Okay, I'm going to show you clips. Now, without the motion, you have three receivers to the left, two to the right. So what does that mean? That means if they go vertical more than 10 yards, he's going to be responsible for him. He's going to be responsible for him. This guy right here will bracket anything coming underneath, a drag or anything like that. So with this type of setup, without doing anything, you can really do this. And you can use this guy. So if you wanted to, you can have your play set up just like this. Okay? So... This is how the defense would be. So if you want to man all them guys up, this is how you can do it with three receivers on one side and then two on the other side. OK, so if the play was to come out, I would be free to roam and then come back right here to any route that doesn't go 10 yards. As you can see, once again, we have perfect defense and perfect pressure. You're going to have your best pass rusher over there. So as you can see right here, he doesn't go his 10 yards again. So that guy drops off into a zone i'm gonna always be watching work anything that's coming from the right side of the field to the left so i went ahead made adjustments manned up all these people so they don't get manipulated they're doing slants i'm able to stay underneath very patient with my user and boom i could take this route that's coming right here slants is all guarded pass rushes crazy and there we go Boom. So if you have a great, great pass rusher, put them in that spot that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And I'm also going to put in clips on certain kind of motions. And I'm going to put in clips on certain type of runs that your opponent might be doing if you have a running quarterback. your linebackers bring them down a couple steps that's going to be what you want to get used to doing every single time now what they do 
you're going to make adjustments to that. Okay. Everything has a counter to it in Madden 23. So let's say this is the play and they bring this guy all the way across the formation. So where would that leave you at? Now you have three receivers on that side once again and two on this side. So that's going to kind of mess up your original reads. So you're going to go Boom, put him on him, put him on him. And with quick adjustments, it's gonna just going to be YY, triangle, triangle, super fast. So you will push X, put him on him, put him on the running back. Two easy steps. Now you have three people on that side, okay? You have three people on that side over there. And remember, if they don't go 10 yards, that's when your zones are going to get messed up a little bit. So in this situation, I really want some pressure. I will even blitz my A. Bring him over kind of aggressive like this. Blitz my A. You have two people over there. The tight end would be wide open on this setup right here. So when I hike the ball, knowing that the tight end is wide open, that means the flats are going to be wide open. Hopefully they are looking for a long developing rope. And if they is, that's going to be the result. A super fast set. Let me know in the comment section what it is that y'all need help with. I'm trying to go over everything possible that you guys might face in Madden 23. I want you guys to be able to go on 16, 17, 18 game winning streaks just like I do. The ebook is down below. Let's go.